What's going on guys, welcome back to the next Madden 25 video on my PS4. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button for me, subscribe if you aren't already, criticism in the comment section. As always, run over to Twitter, give me a follow, my username is Shutdown Safety. Got a little bit of a new tool here in my arsenal for breakdowns that I want to share with you guys, because to me it's really going to revolutionize the way we view gameplay breakdowns. It's called Coach Me, it's an application you can get on your iPad, various other devices, and basically what it does is it allows you to create very easily a diagram system that lets you basically hand draw animate develop share everything that we would do with each other all in real time and what this is going to allow us to do is essentially have a digital chalkboard that's going to allow us to share ideas not only with each other but more easily with developers because a lot of times when we talk about issues in gameplay it's not something that we can really diagram very easily you have, you know, large problems like showing the outline of the screen and trying to describe what changes you would want made. Also, things like going back like I used to do in digitally imaging the video, which can take a long time. And I just want to use a real quick example of how you can use this to much more accurately convey information. So we've got a real quick pass here at speed to Derek Rogers. It's going to be about a 20-yard gain. And I want to show you some of the flaws in the game, but then better go back and break down for you on the chalkboard, so to speak, exactly what occurs. So we're really only going to focus on these players' interactions. Rogers comes off the line. You can see their LRB is actually in charge of that zone and then he breaks off and what this does is basically leaves Rodgers all to himself as he cuts off the right side of the field and the safety never reacts and this is the problem we're going to discuss because as Rodgers goes over he literally has no one here to impede this pass he turns up field gets tackled but it's still you know a 20 yard gain and to look at this just at speed from his perspective you're going to see the other corner runs across the field on a route and then all of a sudden everybody's pursuing up the field so let's go ahead over to the chalkboard and show you what could have been done better on this play all right so here on the chalkboard we essentially have an isolation of the linebacker the safety and the wide receivers route and i want to show you in my opinion where a lot of the problem starts here so as the receiver goes into motion we get to this point right here where the linebacker's responsibility for covering the receiver basically ends as he goes to shade the left side of the field but the safety then has to recognize what's going on and a lot of that is going to be determined by what the play is so do we have a situation here where this cornerback needs assistance on this wide receiver because if it doesn't then the safety needs to automatically come down here and start to protect this area of the field if he doesn't obviously what's going to happen is what we saw in the game he's going to stand back here flat-footed and while the play develops he's going to maintain himself out here unable to make any assistance on the play the receiver is going to run up field and then once the catch has been made then the safety is going to have to come over and try to aid in the tackle and that is the problem we need to have the safeties be a lot more aware of what's going on in front of them procedurally to allow them to make an impact on the passing game consistently love to know your guys opinions on this really hope you go down give this app a look and i would also love to know your feedback on whether you guys would like to see the chalkboard feature before or after the play what would be more helpful for you guys to learn appreciate you watching this video i'll be back in the week with more content